G'day guys, welcome to Try It Out Adventures. My name is Reese, and this one is for all you surfers out there. So today we're gonna to be mounting my eight foot four mini mal on the ceiling. It's a really functional way to put it up if you are a solo traveler such as myself. I've not seen this done before, so I wanna take you through exactly what I'm gonna do and everything that you need for the job, and then we'll get to it. Here's what we need for today's job. I did pick up some anchor points. These come in packs of four and I got these from Bunnings. They are relatively cheap, I believe around $12. You're gonna need at least six anchor points for this particular way of securing your surfboard. Timber screws, they have a really thick thread on them and that is great for securing the anchor points to the ceiling. Then I have some rope. In this case, this does have a bit of stretch to it, which is gonna be extremely helpful when stretching the rope over the surfboard, two carabiners, a J bracket, which is optional, but it's gonna be really great in the van because it's gonna stop the surfboard from moving forward, and then just a drill. Okay, so the way we're going to attach the surfboard to the ceiling is very simple. You're gonna take your anchor points and you are gonna create two triangles. You're gonna have a fixing point here and then two other fixing points to create a triangle, and that's gonna be roped and tied together. Now, what that's gonna do is you're gonna have the carabiner on the single side of that triangle. You're gonna be able to release that, let that hang down, and then when you wanna put the surfboard back up, you put the surfboard on the ceiling, grab that carabiner, and clip it to your single side of the triangle. Then you're gonna create the exact same process at the other end of the board, but with two fixing points on this side and a single point on that side. And the reason for the J bracket is not only is this gonna save me from the surfboard moving forward and back in the van when I'm braking or going up and down hills, but this at the front of the van at the tip of the surfboard, I'm going to be able to actually sit that on there with one side, hold the surfboard up with one hand, and then I'm just simply going to be able to grab that rope, clip it up on one triangle, Go to the back end, clip it up onto that triangle. So let's get into it. have it we have our two triangles I have two here and a single on that side and they're gonna clip over to that one and then on the far side I have two on that side and they're gonna clip over to that far one so what I'm gonna have to do next is go ahead and tie the triangles with the flexible rope this is gonna take a little bit of trial and error just gauge how thick the surfboard is sitting off the roof and you want it a little bit tighter than that and then the flexibility in the cord will hold it up nice and secure to the ceiling Really quickly before I tie these triangles, I'm just gonna show you the knot that I'm gonna use. So I have two ends of a rope. You just overlap them a little bit together. This is called a reaver knot. And you're gonna go with one knot. You're gonna loop over one end and then hold it underneath that line. So it just sits like that. And then you're gonna do the same process on this side. You're going to loop over, thread it through that section and then with your two ends of the knot, you're going to put them through the loop, through that loop, and through that loop, and then all you simply do is pull tight, and there you have a nice reaver knot. Final step is just securing the J bracket to the ceiling where the tip of the surfboard will sit. Simply measure the length of your surfboard, mark out your screw points and use the timber screws to secure to the ceiling. Here it is, moment of truth. Let's get her up on the roof. As easy as that, she's up, beautiful. 
So that is all for today. If you did like today's video, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I do have a full van build series already posted and I am going through more episodes as they come. And then once I'm on the road, I'm going to be doing a lot of camping tutorials, tips and location reviews. So please stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Catch you later.